Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Play Corpse Party. This is a new version that came out on Steam maybe a few days ago. Same game as supposedly it has different endings. I'm not sure. Let's get right into it. Chapter 1. the chapter one opening? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Sachi is my pride and joy. She'd do anything for me. Don't think she even. Oh, wait. okay, I can't read it. Recognize? Okay. You can pause it. <laughs> but I still love her with all my heart. Red. It was a rainy evening after. Running down the stairs, the kindly teacher lost her footing. She tumbled and she fell. And she died. Oh. Well, that escalated quickly. This took place in a school called Heavenly Host Elementary, and it wasn't long after that the whole place got shut down. It was then bulldozed to the ground and forgotten, but that elementary school once stood right there on the site of our own Kisaragi Academy. Some say that teacher still has no idea she's dead, even to this very day. And on rainy evenings like this, after classes have come to an end, some claim- oh, sh <sighs> Sorry. Hand slipped. Is that rain? It sounds like rain. Took me a second, I was like, wait, it's not raining outside. Oh, it's the game. <laughs> In fact, it's almost time for her to make her rounds, just after 7 o'clock. That's when she appears, always accompanied by a sudden blackout that leaves the entire building dark as night. Knock, knock. You'll hear from the blackness. Followed by the sound of the classroom door slowly sliding open. As her pale white face cuts through the stillness, her soft voice always echoes the same question. Is anyone still here? And then... Ah! <laughs> Oog. It's just thunder, Mochita. Hey. I gotta say, that was a pretty impressive action. I gotta change this. Hold on. Is there a way to change the settings? Oh well. I guess we'll have to listen to Japanese. <laughs> Come on, stop laughing. There's got to be a way to get that off. Hold on. <laughs> oh, yes, she is. Ha ha ha, that must be amusing. It was just bad timing, that's all. You always have the best reactions. I just love telling stories to you, Mochita. It's so rewarding. Hmm. Whoever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic, sadistic streak? Hmm. Whoever heard of a boy who can hit a note like that when he screams? Eek, save me. 
Yosuke, come on. Don't be an ass, Yoshiki. Hi, hi. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's not have any fighting. If we don't hurry and get back to cleaning this place up, it'll be seven o'clock till we do. And you wouldn't want to be stuck here during the appointed time, now, would you? Too late. <laughs> My, it, it really is seven already, and the rain doesn't show any signs of stopping. Didn't you bring an umbrella sheet? Didn't you bring an umbrella sheet? It's if not, you're welcome to use mine. Really? Thank you. That'd be lovely. What? A blackout, huh? Who oh, knew? No. no, it can't be. Isn't it a little late for anybody else to be here? Pizza guy? I'm being sarcastic. Do I get to move? Are they gone? Hey, Satoshi, aren't you gonna go see? What? Me? Why? Well, I can't do it. I'm paralyzed here. Can't move my legs once in one, one inch. I'm scared too, you know. Can I move? Okay, I can move now. Okay, is there any way to pause and change settings? Okay. Uh, tools? No. Victims. Whoa. There's nowhere to do settings. Okay, I guess we gotta hear Japanese voices and my voice. The door opened by itself. Is anyone still here? Time to go home, children. Nanjate. Gotcha. <laughs> Funny. Tanosone. I just wanted to join in on all the fun you guys seem to be having. How's the cleanup coming along? Mrs. Yui. Sorry. Hee <laughs> hee, did I scare you? You were telling that old ghost story, right? Your timing was way too good, Miss Yui. Miss Shishido, you've heard the story too? If it's that old tale about Heavenly Host Elementary School, then of course I have. By the way, I'm not good at doing different voices. I'm very monotone. I try not to be monotone, but it's just... It's very obviously there, which you can probably hear it right now, like, uh... So yeah, anyways. After all, it wasn't too long ago that I was just sitting here myself. Oh yeah, I hadn't thought about that. When it comes to the Seven Wonders of Kisaragi High, I'm pretty well versed. They've been around for a long time now. Though I can't take credit for the blackout, that was just good fortune. Anyway, Machida. Yes? I ran into a rather adorable individual in the hall who's come to see you. 
Come on in. He hello, everybody. Yuka, what are you doing here? Big brother. Seems Mochita forgot his umbrella this morning, so little Yuka here has come all the way to deliver it. Aww. Oh yeah, I guess I did. Sorry about that, Yuka. Thanks. <laughs> Is she from the junior high? Nice to meet you. Her brother's always like this. Always really kind, I mean. Oh, I had no idea you had such a cute little sister, Satoshi. Satoshi. Uh, let me transfer that. Uh-huh. Sorry, Yuka, it seems like we're still going to be a little while yet. Really? Well, that's okay. I'll help too. Y you will? Okay. Thanks. Alright, looks like we got two extra pairs of hands now. So let's, so let's show this mess who's boss. Yeah, alright. Comes from the two ghost voices in the black screen. Hehe, <laughs> guess you're ripping me into this too, huh? Okay, everybody, nice work. I hope you all enjoy your vacation, but try to actually do something with it, okay? Don't just sleep in. Today's Red Bean Cafe was the talk of the culture festival, so do give yourselves a hand. You guys worked hard and it really paid off. And you even resisted the urge to bail on cleaning. This old TA couldn't be more proud of you all. So, have some coffee milk. I r coffee milk? I brought enough for everybody. You got these from the lunchroom, didn't you? They're kinda lukewarm. Alright, some things in my eye. My stomach's so gurgly, I don't think milk will sit well with me right now. These are from your fight with that vending machine, I'll bet. You must have pulled that it You must have pulled that change lever a good ten times before you finally gave up. Crap, you saw that, huh? Miss Yui, thank you. Thank you, thanks. You're very welcome. Thanks, Teach. Suzumoto, I really liked your speech. Best of luck to you at your new school. I know you'll do just fine. Thanks. Won't be the same around here without you, Suzumi. Is that this? Or is she gay? Dot dot dot. I know you, Suzumoto. You'll make new friends in no time flat, I'm sure of it. And it's not like you're moving that far away. Come on, come winter break, we'll all make sure to come visit. Absolutely. Wait, you mean I can go too? Dot dot dot. Thank you. All of you. Hey brother, is that girl transferring to a new school or something? Yeah, today's culture festival was your last day. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, it is. Nothing we can do about it, though, unfortunately. Hey, Mr. Shido, before we go... Hmm? Since we're losing one of our own, do you mind if we try something? It's called Sachiko Ever After. Who's Sachiko? And that's almost with the paper doll. Is this another one of your occult things? Hey, kind of. This is, well... Well, it's a charm that I found on the internet. If we do it right, then all of us will 
be together forever. I realized I was completely off camera. Whoops. We're gonna always be friends anyway, that's the gist of it. Oh, it's a charm. Yep, that's all Shinazaki had to say. Suzumoto was totally bonkers for that kind of stuff. Yes, it can't hurt. Is everybody okay with this? Yeah, sure. I'm fine with it. Yay, charm. What the? <laughs> sure, whatever. I don't trust this. Oh, yes. Looks like the A's, the eyes have it. The floor is yours, Shinazaki. Great. Okay, everybody gather in a circle around this paper Sajiko doll. And in your head, repeat the words, Sajiko, we beg of you. Uh, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, nine times. Don't worry if you flub it a little, just make sure you don't stop partway through. You have to say it one time for every person present, no more, no less, or the charm will fail. Well, that got tense really quick. Alright, let's get started. Everybody remember the charm? Sachiko, we beg of you. Nine times. Ready? Begin. Everybody said it nine times? Yep, exactly nine. Yeah, yeah, let's get on with it. If we don't, I'm afraid I'll wind up saying it again. Okay, now everybody reach toward the paper doll. And grab hold of it anywhere you can. Like this? Exactly. Now hold on really tightly. Dig your nails into it if you have to, just don't let go. We're gonna pull on it until it rips apart into nine pieces, okay? On the count of three. One, two, pull. <laughs> Nicely done, everyone. Now, just make sure you keep that scrap of paper safe. Slide it in your student ID holder, or your wallet. Basically, anywhere it won't get lost. Hmm? As long as we all have a little piece of pa eh, piece of Sachiko with us, we'll always be connected with one another as friends. That's the purpose of this charm. Wow, that's actually pretty cool. Pretty cool? Try super cool. I'll have to be extra careful not to lose my piece. Thank you, Shinazaki. I'll treasure this. No problem. Consider it our promise that we'll all definitely hang out together again. Definitely. Well, I hate to say it, but I think it's about time we all get packed up and start heading home. Yes, ma'am. Gasp. Yeah, an earthquake.
sushi. White screen, black screen. Silence. Well, that escalated quickly. <laughs> Ouch. Oh, ow, my leg. I can move it, so I guess it's just a spring. Huh? Where? I'm not at home, am I? It can't be. Also, it can't be, but that's the end of this episode. And that's all the time I got for this one. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye.